be making our first transition video and the first step is to go to your app over there cap cut i'm going to tap on it once it opens up you're going to see at the top new project so i'll tap on that now by this time you've already recorded your videos the before and after for your transition video and then i'm going to the first two videos up there is what i'm using so i'm tapping on this i'm selecting them and then i'm pressing add at the bottom right corner so then these videos are here so let's just go through the videos okay so the first thing you want to do so you want to trim your videos so if we can see um the transition is supposed to come in attack let me play it again exactly so we want to trim our video now so what's very important here is that if you look at this if you just look at this interface right now if i tap on if i tap on this video then it highlights if i go here i tap on the other one it highlights so this is how it's meant to be i tap on one and it highlights once i tap on a video it gives me options for the video so you can see these are the options anything i can do i can split the video i can speed it up reduce or decrease the volume I can add some animation, I can delete, I can remove background, I can extract the audio, I can edit it, crop it, add some filters, adjust brightness, enhance, I can mask, that's for like cloning. So I can put an I can put an overlay, replace something, so really the options are limitless. So I can split this, that's the first option. Now see, if I just roll, slide this video, anywhere you touch, try not to touch like on the video itself, like where it's highlighted, that white box, try not to touch there, but you can put your hand above, in the black area above or in the black area under. Once I slide it, you can see that the video is moving on the screen, so it can tell you exactly where you're supposed to put in your transition. Now see, at that point I raise my hand is the attack. If I continue, the hand comes down. So that is the point of our transition. As soon as you say attack, there, it's supposed to switch just right there. So that once the hand is coming down, the next video is coming up. So you could either plan to split the video, that's to cut it at this point. At this point where the hand is coming down. You could put splits. Let me stop just right here. And you could tap split here. And then the video is cut. Then you can delete this part. There. I've pressed delete. And then you come here to the next video. Exactly. So we want to we're sliding it as well. And I want to see exactly. So this is where we want this particular video to you know to start from so i can tap it i can tap the video so that we can see the options or i can tap on edit the scissors here i tap it and i still see the options then i can tap split and then it cuts the video and then i highlight the part i want to delete and then i go to delete and delete it so let's see how it works out and then we we'll continue to edit. You see, that was already seamless. But what you could do is that in case it's not perfect, like the levels, the points where you cut it out is not perfect. If you still tap on this video, this white box comes out. And if you see at this end, if you hold on, you get to drag this video so regardless that you've deleted it the video is still here so you can drag and elongate it 
So even if maybe you didn't cut, you didn't split it correctly, you can always elongate it or shorten it. So that's what's wonderful about this app. That's why I like to use this app. You know, you get to control all these things. So you can still draw it here. You can take this back. So you have everything. In fact, you can even get your original video. So sometimes what I do, I don't even split because it's not very exact. Instead, I just draw on this. Until I get to the point that I want it to. Uh -huh. I get to the point that I want it to cut. So yeah. That's at that exactly that. The way, um, exactly where the hand is coming down over my face. I stopped it there. So let's see. So it's still awesome we got this. So this is a simple transition. Then what you need to do once you use this app, they add this extra thing. And you really just tap it. And then I go delete and I delete it. So if you notice the audio you know of the um, reels that I try to copy is playing in the background because I record I told you you choose your audio first before you make your reel for a very creative reel so what i do is that i play the audio while i'm recording the video so i know exactly when i'm doing what i'm doing and then it also helps me in the editing because you can see that because of the audio in the background of this of this video i was able to pick out you know where to cut so it's very important to record using your audio so what's going to happen is that now I'm going to mute clip audio. If you see here, I tap it and then there's a an X in front of the um sign. If I tap it again, it's unmuted. So video sound is on. If I tap it, video sound off. Do you get how on mute clip audio? And then I'll add the I'll add the sound that I want that I've probably downloaded from my Instagram downloader or whatever. Now, see so what I'm going to do. If you look down here, over here, the next button is audio. I'll tap on audio and then it says sound effects extracted. So I'll tap on extracted. And then so I'm going to pick the video that has that audio and then we're going to extract it. So if I can remember. Yes, this one here. I'm tapping it. And they're saying import sound only. So I'm tapping on that. So now that's the audio that is here in this blue graph like thing. Right? So let's play it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Attack. Okay, so guys, if you notice, everything just rhymed. But sometimes it's not going to be that, you know, easy. It's not going to be that sharp. So you can always, you know, um, work on this, hold this, you know, draw it a little bit in case maybe you didn't start the video on time. So you can always adjust this. But in this case, I started the recording the filming of my video just on time with the audio because you know i told you i filmed with the audio so that's very important as well but always you can work on this you can hold this if it's a sound you recorded you can you know just slide this away delete add whatever you can just work with this clip to get so this is what we have ladies and gentlemen it's showtime So if you see, even here, notice that when I open my eyes, you know, it rhymed with the beats. That's because I'm recording with the audio. Mm -hmm. So apparently the audio of the reel is not as long as my video, so I can do something about that. I can decide, so usually what I do, I speed up this video a little bit, but I don't speed up from the start of the video. If not, it's going to affect a lot of things so i come somewhere here 
tap on it I tap on split to cut this part away from this part and then I tap on speed normal or curve I go for normal and then I increase the speed let's say 1.5 times okay maybe more than 1.5 because I want it to just be the exact length of the audio oh let's just do two times mm, okay so now see it speeds up ladies and gentlemen it's showtime attack do you get so you could do that as well and this is your first transition tutorial